So I have a, a word for us today and it is about human court systems across the world. You can be a local court, an international court, a supreme court, whatever court system across the world, this is a word that he gave me about the human court systems. I, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget the vision. Generally, I take stuff down that he gives me, but that's, that's what I'm going to read from the journal. Okay, so I was sitting with, uh, with Yeshua in a courtroom. I looked at him. Uh, sitting beside me and asked him what we were doing here. He, uh, he, uh, he asked me what I thought of the area we were in. I said it seemed boring. He laughed at me. Then he said, this is what the Lord said. You, your, as in all human beings, all of us, your courts are a form of performance, a show of justice, but with no actual justice served. They, this is judges, um, these are judges, lawyers, anybody, people of interest. They, they pervert justice for the poor, needy, widowed, orphaned, uh, for their gains even now. Laws are being passed to benefit the rich as their bribes have gained them favor. We, and the Lord said we, as in him, Abba and Holy Spirit, he said we see this. So when he said this, I kind of, okay. I told him, yes, Lord, it is true. It, it's, it's true. There's many people that have come out uh, really displeased. We even know about situations where some, some things are just not taken seriously in the court systems at all. Whether it's, you know, whatever they belittle, it could be as, as they, unless it's sensationalized on, in the media, then it's not picked up. But anyways, we continued. I said, well, I confess that it was true and that we, we've, we've become numb to these theatrics because it's become the norm of society. Then Yeshua said that he was stepping in and I saw his angels taking case files after case files to him. They sifted through archives, backlog and pending cases that were ignored as these cases didn't get the attention of the media to, to sensationalize the injustice. I saw cases of countries and nations being brought up and Yeshua making judgments over all. That is over judgments over the victims, perpetrators, judges, lawyers, and persons of interest. This is persons of interest are, are businesses, or government's funding or bribing residual officials to turn a blind eye. And I saw um, his angels carrying scrolls of judgment to houses and organizations and nations. This looked crazy because it's like they were coming to houses. Like, you know where we all put our, um, our mailbox, right? They were standing outside with these scrolls. They had arrived. It's not like they were coming. They had arrived in people's doorsteps and they were handing judgments. That's what I saw. Okay. I saw innocent people being sent to prisons. Uh, part of the vision was him showing me uh, why these judgments. Like he was even saying, because usually if I see a vision like this, then I know, okay, it's coming. I'll usually intercede. But he said, don't intercede. The, you just gonna, I'm going to show you what's happening and you're just going to release the word. So I said, okay. But part of, as, as he was showing me, he was showing me people that have been sent to prisons, innocent people that have been sent to prisons, communities that have been corrupted um, for the relationships of supply and demand to flourish, case, um, cases of unpaid wages, people that don't pay their workers that have been sued and all the, and to keep their money, they've either you know, hidden it in different places and then bribed uh, residing judges or officials so that they don't have to pay their, uh, their, their, their workers. These cases are up with Jesus now. Uh, cases of rape. I saw that actually. Um, and rape of, of women and children. And even rapes of men that have just been ignored almost like, you know, it's, we're still calling it taboo. 
but this is an injustice and no matter how whether you try to shy away with it you try to ignore it the lord is taking these things seriously well it's always been serious but now judgments are being handed out basically okay and then uh rape and other sexual abuses ignored for bribes so these are like secret societies when they have the little they drug people to do things especially rich countries nations that do this and ignore that some of the people did not sign up they've been tricked they've been trafficked to do this they did not sign up though some people are willing to do this there are some people that are not willing so those cases that people that were not willing and you continue that you did it anyway because you've got money and you feel like you can get away with it those have come up to the lord now uh lands and rivers poisoned to the point people and 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 animals die but these cases were ignored these are now with the lord and the judgments are being released then jesus said i know i know those that have been fighting the good fight are wary so i saw people in different places some were even within um organizations you know some people were doing pro bono work some people were in, um, they were in law firms, but were taking these cases as, even though people were like, but it's a lost, it's a lost cause, you're not going to win. Um, but there was just a sense of injustice that like, we can't just leave it like that. Those people that have given up and, um, okay, I saw a woman, particularly there was one lady I saw sitting with a rejected appeal uh, sighing out of pure fatigue. They've ran, they've done all the paperwork, all the legwork, and were still being rejected. And I just saw this woman like, you know, this, I can't, this is it. This is, this is the world we live in. But still, it, she didn't want it to be like this. She really was crying. She was really crying out. Even though she wasn't crying to the Lord, her heart was crying. And there's many, there was so many people in the forefront of these cases. Um, I've, and the Lord says, um, okay, fighting the good fight are wary. He says, I've seen how the lions have roared um, at you, telling you to stop. It makes no difference because this is the way of life. But I am coming to rescue you. I'm coming with my father's judgments over all they've done. And you will see with your own eyes the judgments over these evils. Okay. As, as after when he said this, I saw that the courts, you know, David says like um, one day, one day in your court is better than a thousand elsewhere. God's courts are supreme over all. That's where everything is done. So my advice is for those that are in organizations that you know they're doing injustices, don't do as they do. C come out of them. Reading further. I could see that Yeshua's court was even bigger or held more authority than any supreme court on earth could be. People should repent, and if you're in this boat, and you see that people, uh, and you see that this pertains to your sector, come out of them. Do not do as they do. Bring bring everything to the Lord in prayer and ask Him to guide you in Jesus' name. So again, ask him to help you. Come out. Don't do as they do. Coming out means don't do as they do. Repent if you're part of the people that did this as well to keep your job. You know, to keep your job, to keep your career. You had to do as they do. Come out of them because now there is now judgment over these things. And it's, it's coming. It's literally out of the human's hands now. It's in father's hands. And that is even more scarier because we can't bribe him. So um, other people, families that had seen an injustice, especially her husband was laid off and now he was sick out of a broken heart because he had given his almost like life to the company. So the wife is sitting on the bed like, and you know, the children is, you know, people are in the house, there's now poverty because he was like the breadwinner and her husband is also now in an is, is ailing. And she's sitting with this file of, you know, there's been no compensation. They haven't paid their pensions. They haven't done anything. And she's sitting and she's looking at this and she's just shaking her head. And she's thinking about her husband. She's thinking about her children. The, those cases have come to the Lord now. You will see, it may not, this word may not be for you, but for those that have gone through that system, bring your, bring your cases up to the Lord now. 
this is the time this is actually the time as these judgments are being handed out may you be blessed and um i will see you next time in jesus name i pray for you amen